Okay, starting with number seven. Three root three squared. You have two choices. Number one, you can go straight to your calculator. And I'm not even talking about the y equals trick I showed you. I'm talking about the home screen, opening a parenthesis, putting three radical three, closing all of your parentheses, and then squaring it. It will give you the answer. But by hand is always better. So let's do it by hand. What most people forget to do is they forget to square each term. You have to square the three, and you have to square the radical three. Each one gets squared. What's three squared? Nine. 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 What's square root of three squared? Three. Three. The square root and the square root cancel. Nine times three. Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven is the answer. So on the quiz today, you need to square the number and you need to square the radical expression. Number eight. How many, how many is this ten. ten. Number eight. Five root two times three root six. We had this in our warm up yesterday. We learned on Monday that you can multiply the numbers outside separate from the numbers inside. Five times three. Two times six. That is not a good answer to put because that's not simplified. You're not done. Don't submit that answer. It's not finished. So square root of 12 is two root three. Two root three. Fifteen. A two escapes and a three is left. Final answer. 30 root 3. And then you, on your quiz, you would plug this in the calculator, and you'd plug that in the calculator, and you'd make sure they equal the same decimal. The only problem is when you plug stuff like this into your calculator, you've got to close the parentheses. Or if you have the other type of calculator, you have to go to the right, that right button, to get out from under the radical. If you're putting it in your calculator. Okay? It takes too long. You do have time. 18. 15 minutes to do it. No one ran out of time for the quiz in my other classes. Yeah, we no didn't one check their answers that. like that either. Uh, okay. This is six, this is eight. I was tempted when I first looked at that to say, oh, Pythagorean triple, six, eight, ten. Except, wait, with that Pythagorean triple, the ten has to be on the hypotenuse. So it's not six, eight, ten. So we do need to do Pythagorean theorem. That whole triangle is an isosceles triangle, not a right triangle. So you're not using the whole triangle. You need to find a right triangle, like that. And there's a right triangle. And that's when you, we can use Pythagorean theorem, on right triangles only. So we do c squared minus a squared. Well, b, b squared. 8 squared minus 6 squared. It's our radicand. How come I beat all of you and I had to walk over there to get my calculator? 28 is B squared. We don't want B squared, we want B. Radical 28. Four, seven. Four and seven, so a two escapes and a seven is, oh. What? No. Two root seven. Two root seven. So this is two root seven. If this is an isosceles triangle, which it is, then an altitude is also a median. And if that's a median, then I can say this is also 2 root 7. So I have 2 root 7s and I have 2 root 7s, so together I have 4 root 7s. I have 2 of them and 2 of them. 2 plus 2 is 4. So that's where x comes from. x is 4 root 7. That was a good problem. Thank you for asking about that. Okay? Moving on. 